So we're here at Pine Island Cranberry, located in Chatsworth, New Jersey, Burlington County. We're at one of the release sites on the property. We are very excited about the potential for Northern Bob White to be reintroduced here to the Haynes property. We're bringing more than 60 birds from Georgia to New Jersey, and we're going to release them as they were captured. They were captured in groups, and they will be released in groups. Uh, a few years ago, uh, I got to meet Bill Haynes, the owner of Pine Island Cranberry, his daughter Becker Fenstermaker, at a leadership class for agriculture. We got to talking about the possibility of working with uh, each other. We came out here with Bill and uh, his forester, Bob Williams, of uh, Pine Creek Forestry, and we walked the site and we all started to realize that the habitat here was exceptional, basically because they've been doing stewardship on the property for so long through their forestry work. We've seen that quail have declined substantially. We know that they have a wide range, and we expect that by bringing them here, we can expand their range. We're hoping to reestablish here in New Jersey the Bob White quail, but our partners, Tall Timbers uh, Research Station, based out of Tallahassee, Florida in particular, has been helping other states as you travel throughout the Pinelands and you look at the, the state and the condition of the forest, you'll see that the forests that you drive by are really thick and dark. And in reality, that's not how the pine forest should look. There should be openings, there should be gaps, there should be places where grasses are growing. There should be a diversity of habitats providing resources for a diversity of wildlife species. So we want to kind of lie in some of that. So the significance of this project to what we do at Tall Timbers has both research and management implications. One is since quail have been declining precipitously over the last three to four decades range-wide, this gives us an opportunity to understand how we can recover Bob Whites on a more large scale. Yep, go for it. <laughs> that was cool. That was pretty cool. <laughs> my grandfather always told my dad and my dad told us if you have a resource you're supposed to take care of it. We're taking care of our forest, we're taking care of our water, mm -hmm. to take care of our business, to take care of our home. And if the quail are back, then we're doing what we're supposed to do. We got excited that the, the Pine Barrens could in fact be a real recovery site for, for quail. We're going to be following the Bob White over the next three years and paying attention to every aspect of the natural history. We have no wild quail left in the pine lands, so this project here uh, at is a restoration project. We're evaluating the success of translocating wild birds into this area. The habitat has been worked very nicely and it's ideal quail habitat. Forest management is very important in New Jersey. We ought to be prescribed burning, we ought to be thinning, clear cutting areas, shelter cutting to restore that upland habitat, which is early successional habitat. Oh, we're both gonna pull it up? You're gonna pull it up. Oh, I am. Ready? Okay. One. Ah! <laughs> awesome. <laughs> We're going to bring these birds every year for three years and, re and release them in the same place to try to create that permanence with the species and, and the sites that we're letting them go on. But it will definitely take some time to build this population back up. Whatever we can find out about the success of these quail in these different managed areas will provide a, a great deal of useful information for land management practices in the Pine Barrens. But all in all, we're, we're really excited this is going forward and we're hoping that we're going to finally bring quail back to the state of New Jersey.